In software reliability, we are taking MCQs, multiple choice questions. Which of the following is not a phase of bathtub curve of hardware reliability? Now you see here, this blue line is the bathtub curve for the hardware reliability. Now it is written also, the first part is hardware burn-in, second part is useful life, third part is hardware wear out. Time is not there. Time is actually the axis, x-axis. So this this bathtub curve is is uh, made with time as x-axis and failure rate as the y-axis. So here, useful life is there, burn-in is there, wear out is there, time is not there. How is reliability and failure intensity related to each other? Now this is inversely proportional because in the graph also you see this bathtub curve is also implicating or implying the same thing that the reliability is inversely proportional to the failure intensity. That is if the failure intensity is higher, reliability will be less. That means number of defects or failure will be higher, reliability will be less. If the failures are less, that means it is chance that the reliability is higher. Reliability is a probability. That is, reliability is the probability that of any software product or product to work failure-free operation or provide failure-free operation for specified period of time for specified conditions. How many product quality factors are proposed in McCall quality model? So now you see this is McCall quality model. We have product revision, product transition, product operation. So what are you going to answer here? The answer is 3. So you don't have to go into the detail of this every part. Uh, the basic is product revision, product transition and product operation. So these are product quality factors. This Mikhail quality model has 3 product quality factors. Product revision, product operation, product transition. Let us see the different uh, quality factors here. So product transition means you are uh, under transition. So it, it needs to have the interoperability, reusability, probability, uh, portability. Then we have operation. When it is working, it has to have correctness, reliability, usability, integrity and efficiency. When it comes to revision, that is uh, testing and the maintenance, so maintainability, flexibility and testability. Which one of the following is not a software quality model? Now you see here. Let me give you an answer here. ISO 9000. This is this ISO 9000 series, a series of standard, is a set of document or the standard dealing with with quality systems. Okay, so quality assurance. Now ISO 9000 is for the quality assurance purpose. That means if you follow certain standards, if you are written something and following it, the processes. It is talking about processes. The processes are uh, done in a proper manner, quality control, quality assurance, uh, some planning, all it, is, all it is done. McCall model, Bohem model and ISO 9126, they are software quality model. Okay, FURPS is also from IBM. What is MTTF? MTTF is perform you can tell, eh, mean time to failure. But the discussion is. It is a total number of hours by total number of units. That is, mean time to failure is that correct behavior, that is some failure has happened and now when it has started working properly, when it is going to fail again, that is MTTF is the actual time where it is working fine. When, when, the, when your product or software product or hardware is working fine, that is the time between two failures. So this is mean time to failure and this is a reliability metric, maintenance metric. How is software reliability defined? So software reliability is defined with respect to time. Software reliability is the probability of error free working of software or providing the functions what it is intended for for a specified period of time for specified conditions. So see software reliability mainly is concerned with the time component. We also see the bathtub curve, the failure 
weight or the defect number of defects they are related with respect to the time on the x axis so the dependability the trustworthiness all is there now we see here basic model and logarithmic model there are different models reliability model but the key is the time so the software reliability is defined over time suitability accuracy interoperability and security these are what type quality attribute of iso 9126 now iso 9126 if you see here there are six major quality say uh, main factors attributes and they also have inside what should be there to fulfill it let me give you an answer first here the answer is c let us go to the functionality in functionality you see suitability interoperability uh, regularity accuracy and security so suitability accuracy interoperability and this all secrecy comes under the functionality part functionality part so this is iso 9126 time behavior and resource behavior fall under which quality attribute of iso 9126 so now see here again now the answer is b here efficiency let us go to the efficiency if you see here we have resource utilization and time behavior these two quality attributes comes under the main quality attribute which is the efficiency so efficiency is all about this uh, resource utilization and time behavior in terms of iso 9126 nhpp stands for now i'm just telling the full form because it is used uh, we have to go to the detail and that is not the point of discussion right now d is non homogeneous poison process the cmm model is a technique too cmm is capability maturity model now after that came cmmi capability maturity model integrated so these are the different levels you can also learn it by irdmo you know some books have some other name some books have some other name but basically it is it, first is initial repeatable defined managed optimized so irdmo you can learn it by this so this technique is for what the answer is to improve the software processes cmm is all about processes the iso is all about processes so the process how they are whether they are predictable unpredictable whether they are they are planned where they are understood whether they are controlled statistically and quantitatively whether you are using whichever model it is there it doesn't matter waterfall spiral agile the software processes you are using under these different models should follow certain uh, certain level of maturity so capability maturity model is about maturity of your organization following what what kind of process improvement so this is the maturity of the processes we are talking about so we have initial which is reactive unpredictable managed we have or you can call repeatable it is also re reactive defined the all these are uh, defined at organization level and then the managed means it is defined at the the uh, the organization level project level organization level which one is not a software quality model so we already seen this uh, i am giving a different perspective here iso 9000 is is a certification if your organization or institution is following the process which they have defined how many levels are present in cmm capability maturity model so if you see here there are five uh, five levels and whichever level you get as per your organization or your institution or that level you are okay so cmmi capability maturity model integrated ird mo you can uh, remember see initial repeatable defined managed and optimized or optimizing how many how many are there five which of the following is not a probabilistic model not a probabilistic model now this is helstedt's complexity matrix now this is a, a deterministic model and basically if you want to find out uh, the it is a complexity measure the program length the program vocabulary the volume the difficulty the effort these can be found for example this is a code now those uh, operators which are provided by the programming languages are 
are, are counted and those which are you have used like a b c you have used is equal to plus semicolon is provided by your programming language so the number of operators is capital n1 the number of uh, operands are capital n2 now these these have a multiplicity also dupli duplicacy also when you remove the multiplicity or just count one to them that becomes small one n1 and small n2 that also correspond to the operator and operands now with these you have this formula these expressions and when you add them in different way use the log or you know these difficulty effort all can be found out so it's a complexity computation matrix software reliability is defined with respect to we have already seen that because this question is asked again and again let's take a different perspective software reliability is defined as the ability of a system or a software or a component or a product to perform its uh, required functions you can also say error free function under stated condition for a specified period of time okay what did we say in the ieee standard uh, definition time so software reliability is all about or it is defined with respect to time because if you see the bar tab curve also the x axis is time failure in time fit is another way of reporting failure in time is fit so this is mtbf mean time between failure mean time between failure is is when failure happened and when the when the product started to work again so there will be a repair time there will be correct behavior time so repair plus correct behavior time is called the mtbf mtbf so fit reports the number of expected failures per billion hours of operation for a device now you will ask why this is number of billion you know number of expected failures per billion hours of operation for a device now this fit has come with respect to the semiconductor industry so this term fit failure in time is used particularly by the semiconductor industry but is also used by component manufacturers also right now mean time to repair mttr is the time needed to repair a failed hardware module is it that the the it is saying mean time to repair this is the time it is taking to repair so the answer here is you guessed it right it's true in an operational system this mean time to repair is the average time it takes to first of all detect the issue then to diagnose the problem then to repair the fault and the return systems to be uh, fully operational or functional so empty in an operational system repair generally means replacing a failed hardware part therefore the hardware mdtr could be viewed as mean time to replace a failed hardware module like you can understand like that also which level of cmm is for process management so the level 5 which is the optimized or optimizing the topmost level 5 because here we are talking about process performance continuously improved through the incremental and innovative technological improvements in software engineering the method of cmmi or cmm model is used to now as i said cmm is all about capability maturity maturity of your processes so we are talking about improving the some software processes you can use any model but whatever process you are using you need to improve it and which level you improve it is it unpredictable is it at organization level is it at uh, which level that is the answer all fault tolerant techniques rely on so all fault or tolerant tolerant uh, techniques rely on what the answer let me show you the answer fault tolerant means it is not going to fail it is just showing its uh, toler tolerance to be uh, faulty so this is redundancy see uh, most of the time we talk about this in hardware terms because fault tolerant if a software is there you can call about uh, either it doesn't fail or it fails gracefully which one of the following is not a software quality model iso 9000 is not now let me tell you about that uh, i'm just uh, you know answering in it in a different perspective ISO 9000 is describing the quality assurance assurance elements in generic generic terms that can be applied to any business so ISO 9000 one can only can also work for sheep for a sweet shop so you make a plan you make and follow that plan 
so it treats an enterprise as a network of interconnected processes so whatever processes you are following or you have defined you need to follow it so in order to be iso 9000 compliant processes should hold the standards which we have been which are being described okay you can also describe elements include the organization structure the procedures the processes the resources that is the organization structure is there is a director who is going to uh, you know be division head and the group head like that so you you also ensure here in quality uh, standard iso uh, quality planning quality control quality assurance and quality improvement the answer here is iso 9000 which of the following is not a phase of bathtub curve of hardware reliability so as we have done already i i know you will be able to answer it it's time basically the reliability is de is defined with time but on the bottom of curve time is the x axis which of the following error detection checks is not a part of application detection the answer is hardware check timing check reversal check coding check these are all all there you know this error de detection checks are there which of the following approaches are used to achieve reliable system so what do we do here reliable means whenever you want the function from this hardware or from the software you need to get it for a specified uh, period of time the fault prevention fault removal fault tolerance all are the answer a system maintaining its integrity while accepting a temporary halt in its operation is said to be in a state of is it fail safe so the system maintaining its integrity for example just a lay a layman example that is the database is there 20 dollar is uh, in your account it will not become 21 dollar by itself that is the integrity a concept i am just suggesting the system maintaining its integrity while accepting a temporary halt in its operation it is just under halt but it is integral also that means it has to be in a state which has to be safe and what is the answer here it is fail safe the answer is fail safe it is integral but it is at halt keeps its integrity what or what type of fault remains in the system for some period and then disappears so is it transient yes it is transient it remains and then it just disappears so this is all about the mcqs thank you so much take care of yourself